Alright, what's going on away? This is Craig here and I'm back with another Pokemon Showdown session. Uh, I'm finally getting around to doing an OU one. Uh, I did record an Uber session the other day, but I'm not sure if I'll actually upload that. I might do another one because uh, when I did it, I completely forgot that I hadn't leveled up the account at all. So I was... Some of the battles were fine and some of them were really... Like, just people getting kind of like steamrolled and stuff and some really bizarre teams and items and stuff, so... Yeah, I might need to have another go at that. So, I've made this team and it's pretty... Well, it's been doing quite well. I did manage to level up this account to like, I think, 1350 or something. Um, and then I was like, I'll leave it there because I don't want to get too high before the session. Um, and it, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, might need some tweaking at some point, depending on what we keep running into. Um, but yeah, let's get into the team. So, we've got Charizard X. Dragon Dance, Flare Blitz, uh, Dragon Claw, Roost. I think this is the same set that Dundeal was using in his OU session. And it is, this is an absolute monster. You get one Dragon Dance up, and I think, well, from what I've seen, you can just sweep whole teams. Even things that are resisted, like, um, like Heatran, Aegislash, stuff like that, like, they cannot take a Dragon Claw well at all. Um, then Flare Blitz, obviously. 120 base power, stab, dragon dance, oh my lord, oh and tough claws as well, completely forgot about that. Plus the fact that you lose your flying um, typing is really good so then you're not quad weak to, uh, quad weak to rocks. Um, and it gets kind of bulky on the defensive side as well, so yeah, really good Pokemon. Uh, next we've got Lander ST, I've never used this before until I made this team so I figured I'd give it a go. Uh, Choice Scarf. EQ, Stone Edge, Knock Off, U-Turn. So this set was just like kind of like a, like the standard Smogun set when I had a look at because I haven't played OU for so long. Like I don't really know, like I didn't know what I was doing really with the team, so I just had a look. Uh, Choice Scarf as well because speed is kind of, it's like average, um, but having Intimidate is really handy as well because obviously it makes uh, Landorus a bit more bulky. And uh, makes other things, you know, if if you want to switch, uh, like that gives them sort of like pseudo bull. And uh, Landorus doesn't have great defenses, but they're not too bad, so it does help quite a lot there. <coughs> uh, next up, we got Latios, Life Orb, Draco Meteor, Psy Shock, Roost, Hidden Power Ice. Uh, I was running um, HP Fighting, um, which I assume was for Bisharp, and I think there was something else, but I haven't ran into one yet, which I was just thinking, like, my luck's probably going to run out at some point. So uh, I switched it to Ice because I really hate Gliscor, and um, with this team, the only thing I had to deal with it was Weavile, and having a specialized move is even better, so I figured I would, uh, I would do that. Because um, I was playing against some people that were using like fighting moves on their glass god. There was one that had Brick Break and one that had Sky Uppercut, and I'm not sure if those are like uh, like standard sets. Like I say, I haven't played OU in quite a while, so um, Weavile couldn't really switch in on that, and he can't really switch in on an Earthquake either. So I figured Latios having um, having it would be not a bad option because it can take fighting moves easily and uh, doesn't get hit by Earthquake. So next up we've got Sylveon. I named it YouTube because I figured the, uh, the ability is pixelate and YouTube likes to pixelate videos so I was like, ha, ah, I'm so clever. Uh, Heal Bell, Wish, Protect, Hyper Voice, standard set I think. Uh, fully defensive because its special defenses are already nice. Um, Smorgan said to put 12 in this, I think, to... It was to outspeed something, I can't remember what it was. Um, but yeah, like I said, this this can take hits on either side. And then I've got a uh, this as well, which is kind of a similar thing. Even though it says physically defensive and its physical defense is better, I went for special defense because its special defense is lacking a little bit, and also it means I can take like fire moves and stuff better. Uh, plus with the with the steel type, and that kind of adds to your defensive bulk as well because you can resist a lot more hits. Uh, name it Swire as well because it's in red and it likes to bite things. Uh, Defog, Roost, Bullet Punch, Bug Bite. 
I uh, could switch up Bug Bite for something else if I wanted to, like maybe, I don't know, Aerial Ace could be an option, um, or something like that, but then again, <clears throat> then again it is Stab and um, Technician, and Bullet Punch for Fairies, and also Technician, and Prior as well, because uh, what is Scizor? Yeah, Speed's kind of, yeah, a bit crappy, especially when you lose like half your speed from, uh, from Cypher there, which is kind of... Uh, you know, but I guess it makes sense in a way. Uh, anyway, on the last thing, got Weavile, Life Orb, Ice Punch, Knock Off, Low Kick, and Ice Shot. I might switch up Low Kick for Brick Break actually, just it's a bit more reliable. And uh, yeah, standard set. Um, just bail you out of the shit quite a lot, Weavile, because it's just it's so quick, and um, Ice is quite a quite a sort of big threat in this tier. So I have I have a, like a tad ice weakness with the with these two. But I do have two resistances as well. So normally I'll lead off with the uh, with Landorus. If I see something that wants Ooh this is a this is an interesting switch. I'm gonna go for a stone edge. Normally I'll go for a U-turn or a knockoff. But I don't really think that he's the only thing that he's got that really wants to take a Stone Edge would be Heatran. And even then, I don't think it really wants to take it. If this can hit, that'd be good. Takes out relatively well. Um, not sure what to switch in here. I think I might just stay in Stone Edge again. He's going to go for a knockoff. That crit, that's uh, that's handy. So he was Scarf, but it doesn't matter anymore. Crit Stone Edge, I would feel bad, but at the same time, Stone Edge is a high crit move, so it's um, it's to be expected. I think I'm just going to stay in Stone Edge again because I've lost my Scarf, and this should still do a decent. Well, never mind. Um, I'm just looking at. I thought he would have mega up there. Oh, no, actually, no. If uh, if I'm Stone Edge. It, Actually, I could switch up. No, I'll just go for another Stone Edge. Yeah, Landorus T is a fucking monster. That, what was it, like 47, 427 attack? Yeah, it does take me out. That's uh, It's alright. Go into... Um... I think this is probably the, the right play. I think I'll go for a nice shard just in case he wants to go for like quick attack or something. And he might mega up as well. He might oh he does mega up, so that's that's fine by me. He probably should have stayed and just went for a quick attack or whatever he's got, because it, it probably would have taken him out regardless, but um I don't know, he might have lived. I'm not sure what Pincer's defences are, I don't think... Oh, it's got... No, oh, it's got 100 defence. Its stats are pretty good, actually. Kind of surprised it was, like, NU for, like, four generations or whatever. Well, I know, it was it was NU last generation, wasn't it? I do think it's kind of... It's weird, because I was, like, I was reading, um... There's like suspect testing Aegis Slash at the moment. There was like all these kind of uh, debate and stuff, and it was like um, like Smogan don't fine tune the bands. It's basically just if the ban, like if a moose, if like one moose and the Pokemon's like so overpowered or something, or like you know, like a certain whatever, um, they'll just ban the Pokemon outright instead of like banning certain moves on it, and. Um, and there was like, all this debate going on, and then it was like a little bit about uh, Mega Stones, about how they don't ban the Pokemon, but they ban the Mega Stones uh, for someone like Lucario or something like that. But then I'm thinking, well, things like Pinsir and Ampharos were in new last generation, and the only reason they're in a high tier is because of the the Mega Stones. So something like Pinsir would, I think, still be fine. In a lower tier without the Megastone. I think Ampharos is the same. Um, 
and yet they're still in high tiers, but only because of the mega version, if that makes sense. Like, the normal versions are still kind of crappy. Like, Gardevoir, I think, is a decent Pokemon on its own. Like, without a Medicham as well. But, like, I think Ampharos and Pinsir are not great without their, uh, without the Mega Stones. And especially, like, in this tier. So, that's just my opinion. I think Charizard as well. Charizard was then new last generation. And now it's, because of its Megas, it's, like, one of the, like, the best, uh, Pokemon in the tier, in my opinion. But I don't think it's the, the without the Mega Stone that it would be that overpowered. It probably like let's say it was in their new last generation. Um, you know, Stealth Rocks really do uh, harm it. So I, you know, I could see it like the 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 regular version being in in UU and probably struggling against a lot of things. Well, looks like that's a a win for me. And my ratings are just gone over 30.